YouTube, Matt M. Roy back again, back to you on a beautiful Saturday morning here in Virginia. It is Saturday, June 18th of 2016, and I just got my first cup of coffee, so you gotta bear with me, I haven't quite woken up yet. A little too uh, hot to drink. Well, so, Mom and I are gonna go to some garage sales. I know I stated earlier this week that there weren't gonna be any, well... That has changed, thankfully. Uh, there are at least there's at least one community sale that I know of, and uh, a few, quite a few independent garage sales this weekend. So we're gonna go see what we can make out of those. Not being too hopeful, but you know, you never know. One of them's in a the community sale. He's in a very affluent area, so hopefully we'll be able to find some goodies there. You know, if not computers, maybe some other uh, electronic items. And uh, we're also searching for pots, pans, any kind of cookware, you know, casserole dishes before the trailer, which we haven't gotten any yet. We're kind of uh, slacking off on that a little bit. Um, still don't know exactly when the trailer is going to come. I just found out that they got the decals in uh, a couple of days ago and started putting those on. So hopefully going to see the trailer sometime the end of next week or the beginning of the week after. Now, if it's the week after, we're going to have to wait because Mom and I are going to actually be out of town. We're going to be up towards, uh, heading towards New York. So and if it comes then, we might not get to see it until the following week. So it's kind of a process. They, uh, they need to make sure everything's right. And I didn't realize at first how in-depth it is because... That trailer had nothing done to it. They haven't checked anything. So basically, when we decided to get it, they needed to throw the batteries in, you know, detail it, put the new decals in, and they have to test everything. From the bump outs to the furnace, the stove, the hot water heater, uh, the TV, the fireplace. I mean, they're just list goes on and on and on. There's so many things that need to be checked out. Um, before we can take ownership of the trailer. So I, I kind of understand their logic of not wanting to rush through it. And we're not going to be taking it out until at least the fall. So, because the summer just gets way too hot. So you know what? It'll be okay. We're going to get it eventually. And I know it's going to be awesome. Well, I'm going to be heading out here in a few minutes. And uh, I'll bring you guys along with me. Talk to you shortly. What is it? What do you want, LT? I was just walking by and I noticed she's kind of... Laying down, sprawled across the uh, hallway in the uh, dining room entrance. Oh, now she's afraid of the camcorder. What is it, baby? She used to actually let me pet her under this chair, but I don't know if she'll do it anymore. What is it? What you want? You can kind of see she's hiding right under there. Such a silly little cat. I think she got her treat, so now she's not really interested in doing anything else with me this morning. Isn't that right? So you gotta follow her. Well, what? Waddle, waddle, waddle. Yep, waddle. Must waddle back to your usual spot. Gotta, gotta be at the usual spot for sure. What is it? What is it, sweetie? What is it, sweet pea? Yeah. You guys can see she's doing just fine. She's her usual timid kind of weird self. Yeah. Show everybody your butt. Yeah, we know you like to show off that big butt of yours. Need to go on a diet just like I do, baby. She is definitely gaining weight. I gave her some treats. She didn't actually finish them this morning. Good girl. So I'll give you guys a quick update on LT. Like I said, she's she's doing fine. Trying to brush her a little bit more. She uh, is really, really shedding badly this time of year. But uh, she's not a big fan, are you? What? You like being brushed? Hey. What? Want to say hi to everybody? What? Good girl. Hey, she's not as talkative as she usually is this morning. Well... We'll go ahead and let you uh, get your beauty rest, even though you really don't need it because you're such a cute kitty as it is. And uh, I'll check up with you tomorrow. Be back in a little it's bit. It's a bunny, it's a bunny. It's a bunny, it's a bunny. It's a bunny, it's a bunny. Oh, bunny's running away. All right, guys, waiting for mom. She looks like she's watering her plants right now. 
I just got a weird uh, text message from somebody I didn't know. They said, we're up and waiting for you. And I'm like, I'm sorry, I don't know who you are. And I'm waiting to hear back from them to see if they're like, oh, I'm sorry, I uh, sent this to the wrong person. I don't know if you guys ever get those or not. I, the first time I've ever, I've had uh, wrong numbers. I've never actually had a wrong text before. So I thought that was kind of interesting. Well, mom's coming. I'm going to go ahead and pause the vlog for now. And uh, I'll see if we find anything today. Talk to you in a little bit. All right, bit. guys. Well, we went to that uh, community-wide yard sale, which was really a joke. There were literally three different tables, and they are all set up front. Um, I did find one item, though. I got a 19-inch uh, Sanyo LCD TV for $10 that uh, will also work as a computer monitor. It's got uh, one VGA, one HDMI component and composite. So that was kind of neat. But other than that, it was just total garbage. Uh, Mom, I'm sitting out front of 7-Eleven Mom. Mom's running in. She's going to get a little little something, maybe a donut or something for us to tide us over until we eat later on. Um, there are a couple of states of estate sales we want to hit up today. I know one or two of them are um, at the other end of our town, so probably going to be heading over there. Mainly, this is going to be a day we're going to try to find stuff for the new trailer, getting pots, pans, uh, cookery utensils, casserole dishes, pretty much everything we need to begin cooking when we get in there. And then, of course, we also need to look for linens as well, towels, uh, you know, face towels, washcloths, um, different things like that, maybe, you know, towels and stuff to wash dishes with. So it's going to be a lengthy process. We're going to spend, I have to spend a lot of time um, stocking the trailer because unlike uh, when you buy them new, this one's not really coming with anything. So, you know what, it's actually going to be fun though. I'm, I'm really, I'm really excited about the adventures we're going to be able to go on and I'll be able to take you guys on once we have the trailer inspected put on the road and you know finally take our first trip we are still thinking about going to charlottesville virginia and that would probably be sometime in the fall so we're looking maybe um september october time i'm just hoping a little bit earlier than that but the problem is the summer around here it just gets too hot and it's not really enjoyable to uh to go on vacations in this area so we'll go ahead and wait till the fall and i just think it's gonna be a hoot i think we're gonna have a lot of fun on those trips and uh hopefully i'll make it a really educational for you guys well mom's coming out we're gonna go ahead and head to these other uh estate sales and maybe a couple more garage sales talk to you in a little well, bit well guys we're at a supposedly garage slash estate sale and it's on a huge busy road near our near our house and you obviously can't park in their driveway because it's totally filled so we had to park way back there and now we're walking precariously on this little dangerous road to get to the sale it's really not a good place to be but it looks like it might be an interesting sale i think it's like an estate sale so we're gonna have to see it's beautiful out today as you can see there's not a cloud in the sky it's only about 73 degrees right now, and uh, I just don't like walking on this street because there's literally no place to walk. The white line is right on the grass, so pretty much you're either walking on the grass or you're walking in the middle of the street. But well, we're here. I'm going to go ahead and see if uh, I can find anything. I did find some goodies so far, so I'm going to do a garage sale finds video once I get home, and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, so just leaving this estate sale kind of overpriced. Eh, they had a few things. They had uh, a couple 19-inch uh, LCD monitors, but they were the 4x3 ones, and they didn't even have them priced. I didn't even want to ask them because the other stuff they had, they had like some blank CDs, like uh, eight pack of blank CDRs they wanted $8 for. Just way, way more than I'm looking to spend. Waiting for mom to come out. She was looking at a couple of items. We saw some of these uh, plastic plates we thought might be good for the motorhome, but for eight of them, they wanted $8. They wanted a dollar a piece for these little plastic plates. And I'm thinking, well, we can go to Dollar Tree and we can buy brand new ceramic, good quality, like um, Fiesta Ware for a dollar a piece so i think that's what we're going to do we're look at these estate sales we're realizing a lot of the stuff that they have here we can pick up a dollar tree for pennies you know for pennies on the dollar from what they want them here so uh i guess what we're going to wind up doing did you wind up getting anything no i was telling them it was kind of overpriced, overpriced very overpriced so we're going to go and uh, grab a little something to eat because all we had this morning was like a little donut. Didn't probably hit up Hardee's and uh, I'll talk to you guys when I get home. See you later. All right, guys. Well, 
had just about the worst breakfast experience at Hardee's I think we've ever had. I, Mom hardly ever goes to Hardee's. I've but, never been there for breakfast. Yeah, so we decided to give it a try. So we go in there. It's it's kind of busy. It's a Saturday. Mom places her order. She gets, what was it called? The, the, like a big breakfast. Kind of like breakfast their platter. version of the big breakfast. It had like eggs, sausage, and supposedly biscuits and gravy. So Mom orders hers, and then I go right behind her and order mine. I get mine almost immediately. I go ahead and sit down. Well, I'm sitting there for maybe 10 minutes and I see mom still up there waiting for her order and I, I actually decided to go up and say, what's going on? Well, it took forever for her order to come out. Finally, about 12 minutes in, her order came out. It was the crappiest looking thing I've ever seen. One sausage patty, maybe what, six or seven hash browns, and a piece of egg that is so thin, yeah. you could literally read a newsprint through it. So, three bites, you could eat it in three bites. Yeah, exactly, and she didn't want to complain, but they also didn't have any butter available. They had some, or jelly. So mom went and sat down. I decided to go up and talk to the lady. I said, can we get some butter and jelly? Jelly. And I also said, can we get another egg? Because I, I told her that. I told the lady that took her order, the egg is so thin, you can literally, literally read text through it. And she's like, uh, she didn't really say much, just kind of nodded her head like that, like, oh, I don't care. So another five minutes goes by. I'm just standing there waiting for this stuff to come. And I, I'm, I'm fed up at this point. I mean, we're like 20 minutes into this order, and I'm like, this is unacceptable. This is like pure incompetence. So I asked one of the guys to get the manager, and the manager comes up front, and I really let him have it because you know it's inexcusable to make somebody wait that long for fast food so I, I tell my spiel to him I say I say you know you guys have pretty much lost a customer because I it's it's really ridiculous I'm not gonna wait this long so finally after he leaves the the stuff comes up the the lady who took her order she hands me the butter jelly and uh, a fork and a knife set and the egg. yeah and the egg and well and then I was walking back to the uh, to our table and this other lady comes up one of the customers says is that really necessary she's like do you know how hard it is to work fast food and I'm like yes I do but I also know what gross incompetence is, and that is gross incompetence to make somebody wait 20 minutes for real crappy food. You guys can judge the way you want, but you know what? I just, I, I'm sorry. That 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 was the nail in the coffin for me. I am not going to this Hardee's again. I'm. I, luckily, we have another Hardee's that's equally as close to the house. But and you work fast food, and I've worked fast food. So, I know how hard it is to work fast food, but I also know when people are slacking off, and people here were definitely slacking off. I noticed people standing in the back near the coolers, um, just talking and chatting. Well, maybe two or three of the people are actually doing the work. And when I see that, that also gets me angry because, you know, it, it, it gets my goat. These people want $15 an hour. Well, if you want $15 an hour, work for it. When I worked fast food, I worked for Sonic for almost four years. I was non-stop. When I, when I got there in the morning to when I left it in the afternoon or evening, depending on how long my shift was, I was go, 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 go. I, and I would have to do multiple stations. There were times I was normally fountain and ice cream. There were times I had to work the kitchen. I also had to work the pass-through where we'd hand the food from the kitchen to the car hops. And I also had to take orders. And I never relaxed. I never rested unless there was unless I was on a break. It's a shame people these days just do not have that kind of work ethic anymore. Um, it, really, it really saddens me. And I think that... I don't always make a stink about it, but if I see something that is really wrong, I think it's, what's the word I'm looking for? It, it's it's kind of doing them a disservice not to point it out because as this keeps going on, they're just going to keep losing customers because customers may not say anything, but they're also going to be upset. They just won't come back. And as business goes down, they're going to have to start laying people off. So... That, I'm going to digress here, guys, but I had to get that off my chest because that really angered me. Uh, we have to go run some more errands. we got to stop at BJ's, Walmart, and uh, then we're probably going to head home. So I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. And I do have quite a few items I picked up today to show you. I'm going to do it all at once. All right, guys. So I am outside in front of BJ's, and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I picked up today at the garage sales. It's just going to be kind of quick today because I'm running a little bit behind. Probably the best thing I found today was this. This is a Sanyo 19 inch LCD TV. Got the remote control right there with it. And yes, I know the stand's loose. I'll put that back on when I get home. But you can see it's from July of 2010, if my camera will focus. This one's got the um, HDMI coaxial audio in, VGA 
regular coax and it's got a array of component and composite inputs so not a bad deal it is missing the uh, power cord but it just takes one of these um, standard uh, boombox style power cords which I got tons of at home so that was not a bad deal now for the rest of the stuff I'll have to move you guys got some to groceries the trunk. in here so this is gonna be a little tricky first thing I found here is I got this tote for three dollars which is totally filled with computer cords galore I can already see there's a bunch of computer power cords uh, some speaker wire there's a component cable right there looks like we got a Ethernet cable um, composite video cable right there if I turn to the other side you can see it has a couple of DSL filters which I won't be able to use some type of three and a half inch millimeter uh, headphone jack patch cable and a whole bunch of stuff so I figure for three dollars that was not a bad score next I got this box for four dollars of computer speakers. They're all different kinds. These are some cyber acoustics. Uh, a couple of cyber acoustics in there, and I think I, the rest of them are these like Dell brand speakers, but decent. They, I believe all the power cords or power adapters are on the bottom. At least I hope so. I'm not 100% sure of that. And at that same sale, I also picked up a pair of these. These are really good. These are these uh, lab tech speakers, the exact same ones that my uncle has. Go ahead and try to pull that out if I can. They're a little on the dirty side, but they are complete. They have the uh, built-in power adapter. Actually, the power adapter is built into the speaker. This has got some substantial weight to it. So you got bass and treble on the front controls, on, off, and... Uh, volume i can't wait to try these these things always had great sound i'm gonna try to move this over so we can get to the rest of it <laughs> man box on the bottom of that one is breaking next for a dollar i picked up this panasonic fmam radio it's like it maybe dates back to the early to mid 1970s got a tuning control up there volume band and then your high low tone control for those of you that are interested this is a panasonic re6286 and i'll definitely do some more research on this when i get home but uh, this isn't really the time to go into depth about anything <laughs> next a couple items i got these for 50 cents each got this vivitar ultra slim mini tripod have no idea what this is going to be like you can see it kind of stands up like that should be good for doing vlogs. Also picked up this three and a half inch mini LED flashlight. This is by uh, Har from Harbor Freight, as you can see. Um, it's got nine LEDs in there. Just a cheap little thing, but good enough to use for my room. And then I picked up another one of these Toshiba DVD recorders. This is ex the exact same one that I have in my room right now, the one that's near my bedside TV. So you can see it up converts regular DVDs to 1080p. Under here we should see, yep, you got S-Video. If the, there we go, you can see better now. I got S-Video, composite in, and there you even have the DV in or Firewire. And once again, for those of you that are interested, this one is, let's see what we got here, model number, fill focus, DR400, manufactured in July of 2007. And then last but not least, I got two of these uh, clock radios. This one's a General Electric. Paid 50 cents for this. Probably dates back somewhere to the uh, early to mid-1980s. Has a battery backup. Kind of wonder what uh, battery might be in there, if there is one. Nope, looks like they never put one in. Make sure that's shut. Yeah, we'll get to that in a minute. And then... I also picked up one of these. This is a RADS brand. These are just these little AM, FM alarm clocks. This is actually going to go in the uh, trailer. That way we know what time it is at night because there is not actually a wall clock in there. And last but not least, and I got this for free, I got one of these Bell bike seats. This one actually looks to be really, really comfortable. Um, at first I thought this was peeling, but I think that's actually the way it's supposed to look. And it's got everything you need. I should just be able to attach it right to my bike. It's even got some springs, so be nice, uh, nicer on your rear than the one that's on there for sure now. Well, those are my finds for today. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video because I think Mom's about to head out. And we're going to continue shopping. 
Talk to you guys a little All later. All right, guys. Well, boy, I thought I was done with the garage sale finds today. Boy, was I wrong. On the way home, Mom and I went to an estate sale, and wow, look, you guys can't even imagine what we found. Um, this is going to take a few minutes, so let me go ahead and get started. This is a combination of both things Mom and I purchased. The first thing here is something that Mom purchased. This is a rice cooker. Panasonic, this is model SR1110EGH, so we gave all of $3 for that, and it is absolutely brand spanking new. I mean, it's got the paperwork there. It's an older one, but this thing has never been used. Look at that, guys. Not even a tarnishing on the metal. It's absolutely incredible. That's the way most of this stuff is. Now, this is the next thing. The, the, a lot of these are going to get their own separate video, so don't worry. Um, this is a Coleman portable heater, model 513. See, it was from AAFES. I'm not even sure what that is. Originally, they paid basically $32 for it. I'm guessing this is probably from the uh, early to mid-70s. You can see up here, it actually has one of these um, store stickers. I don't know if I'm going to see any dates or anything on there. I don't. There's a 5,000 B2 heater. I wound up giving $5 for this. And as you can see, this one is also brand new. I'm not actually going to open any of these because these, again, are going to get their own separate videos, but incredible for $5. Next, picked up one of these Sony Sports FM AM Walkmans. These are only FM and AM. There's no actual cassette deck or anything built in here. But I just thought this was really cool. Uh, something from, I'm guessing, the late 90s, maybe mid to late 90s. Um, and for again, for two bucks, you couldn't go wrong. And of course, it's a Sony. <laughs> Next, once again, brand new. Picked up this Hamilton Beach or Scoville. That kind of dates it when you see that name, Scoville. Um, popcorn popper. Um, I needed another one. This is the way I like to make my popcorn. These are air poppers. Basically, uh, the one I have at home now is just pretty much degraded over the years. It barely works anymore. And I believe, again, this one is absolutely brand new. I don't see a date or anything on here, but like I said, if I had to venture a guess, I'm thinking maybe mid-80s, mid to late 80s. And this is the model 518. Now this is most definitely going to get its own video. This is a Coleman Lantern, as you've probably guessed. This is a two mantle green lantern. Um, let's see if I can get a model of, of this somewhere. Looks like it maybe was from Kmart originally. Yep, definitely from Kmart. Um, I'm not going to uh, venture a guess as to what the model is. It's probably one of the uh, late 70s, early 80s models. Once again, this is going to get its own specific video. I'm hoping it's all intact. It's definitely brand new. The box has, of course, seen better days, but man, I just cannot get over this. And I gave a whopping $3 for that, guys. Incredible. Now, Again, I'm going to start going over some of mom's stuff. This is a box that we paid, she paid uh, like three bucks total for. This is all going to be stuff for the trailer. Got a brand new uh, colander there, a bunch of different um, containers to put in leftovers when we're cooking, different sizes and everything. So yeah, this is going to be great. This is exactly the kind of stuff we were looking for today. We needed stuff so badly for the trailer and God, get, God shed his grace on us, and we were able to find a lot of this kind of stuff. Also, we got a bunch of these little containers. These will be really nice because the refrigerator in that trailer is kind of on the small side, and these will fit perfectly, all kind of different size little containers, and we gave $1.50 for that. This was actually at a different garage sale. Ah, let's see what I got here. This bag, I got this bag from the same sale that I picked up these items from. Got another Coleman Lantern here. This is a more modern one. This is a Model 226 Lantern. Again, I gave $3 for this. And uh, one thing I found interesting about this is this is one of the dual fuel lanterns. This will actually operate on regular Coleman fuel or unleaded gasoline. So you can actually pour gasoline into this. That's right. And use that for the fuel. And once again, that's most likely going to get its own separate video. 
picked up a, <laughs> this was shocking to me. If you guys remember back in the day, they had something called the Kodak Disc Camera. And this was in the early 80s, late 70s. Well, this is actually a case that they sold specifically for the Kodak Disc Camera. And it has never been opened. It is 100% brand new. You can see it's kind of in that um, dark brownish color that was so popular back in the early 80s. I'm going to use this, I think, to put my dad's GPS in. Because I think this will be the perfect size. But that is just so cool to me um, next I bought this I, I actually paid three I think I paid three dollars for this yeah this I paid a little bit more than I really wanted to but I still thought it was cool these are uh, called cost sound cells these are basically amplified speakers that you would hook up to a Walkman or it looks like they may have actually hooked this up to a uh, answering machine. But once again, I'm guessing late 80s, maybe early 90s. And again, I'm not going to go into too much detail because quite a few of these items are most definitely going to get their own specific video. So now I'm going to move over to <laughs> the fire extinguisher section. That's right, guys. At that same estate sale. They had a whole bunch of these fire extinguishers, and I paid $2 a piece for these. Now, four of them are basically the same. They're the Kitty Dry Chemical um, fire extinguishers. Now, I looked at the gauges. All of the gauges on these read good. In other words, they're all in that, I have the camera will focus. They're all in that kind of green area, which is good. I mean, that's what you want to see. Um, all of them are the same except for this one. This one is like an RV or motorhome um, fire extinguisher. Constantly we'll probably go ahead and put this in our trailer. But as you can see, they are all full. None of them look like they've been used at all. Um, I gotta do some more research. I am not by no means an expert on uh, fire extinguishers, so I'm not even sure exactly what types of fires these are for. Um, it looks like they may be good for just like regular wood, trash, paper. Uh, liquid grease and electrical so I'll have to do some more research but this is on top of everything that I showed you earlier guys I cannot believe our luck we did so well at this last estate sale Unreal. all right guys well, I really hope you enjoyed the vlog today I sure enjoyed making it um, I can again I cannot believe all the good deals we found at the estate sales just remember if you want to get these kind of deals like I do just keep your eyes open this estate sale was very well priced um, the, it was uh, two sisters, they did it themselves, and they really didn't advertise it. So if you're in your area and you want to find deals like this, you really just got to keep your eyes out. Whenever you're riding around, look for signs. I actually found this sign to go to this estate sale right near Home Depot as we were leaving, and it was just a shot in the dark. It was pure dumb luck that I was able to go ahead and find this estate sale and get all these tremendous deals. So keep your eyes open. Please remember to like and subscribe. And as always, have a blessed day, everybody.